Hi, I'm Bob Hoganson with Martin County Television. You know that old saying, a picture's worth a thousand words? Well, what about a baseball signed by your favorite player? Or what about that car you remember as a kid, that Model A Ford? How many words do those say to you? Well, the folks here at the LA Museum on Hutchinson Island in Martin County hope you come here to find out those answers. Named after turn-of-the-century inventor Sterling Elliott, the museum houses a diverse collection of items ranging from contemporary to classic. We have a lot of things going on under one roof here, and it's a great place to visit. This building here opened in 2013. However, the original museum, located at the same spot, was opened in 1961 by a man named Harmon Elliott as a way to commemorate his father Sterling, the prolific inventor. He invented many different things. He was mad about bicycles. He loved bicycles and he did a lot of inventions to improve bicycles. He was also a bit of a social reformer. He felt that women should be able to ride bicycles, so he invented a seat that women could ride. Perhaps Sterling Elliott's most famous invention was called the Kingpin, which solved the steering problem in four-wheeled vehicles. This turned out to be a precursor to the current rack and pinion steering that cars have today. Some of his original patent models are on display. Jennifer Essler, CEO of the Elliott Museum, says the collection goes far beyond early 20th century vehicle technology. The mission of the Elliott Museum is to inspire creativity through exhibits and programs about art, history, and technology for the people living in and visiting the Treasure Coast. Wherever you are at the museum, exhibits will transport you back to a time of wonder and excitement. But the big draw here is the cars. We're standing now in the Main Street Gallery, which is the beginning of our car collection. And we have over 90 cars in our collection, vintage cars. And it's probably one of the most popular things that the museum has to offer to the public. The first floor is a car lover's dream. Several early 1900 Ford Model A and Model AAs are on display. Early third row seating can be seen in this 1914 seven passenger Packard. One of the very first motorized vehicles was the Benz Patton Motor Wagon. What we have here is a replica of that. A 1965 Porsche Coupe looks ready for the road. There's even a Fun for the Kids 1931 interactive school bus you can climb aboard. But most of the cars are stored in a very unique and futuristic way. One of the coolest things at the Elliott Museum is right here in this garage. It's called the Automatic Vehicle Tracking System. And what that does, it acts as a sort of a robot that picks up one of these 51 cars from this three-story garage and displays it so you can see it. This is the only place in the country this technology is being used in a museum to display vintage cars and trucks. The exhibits continue on the second floor. We're here in the baseball gallery. A lot of cool stuff in here. What is in here? Well, you know, Walt Whitman said that baseball was a quintessentially American game. It had the snap, go, fling of the American atmosphere. We try to capture that here in the baseball gallery. Among the hundreds of signed baseball cards and signed baseballs stands other historic memorabilia, including a game used signed bat by the infamous Shoeless Joe Jackson. So tell me, what are we looking at here on this display on this wall here? In the old Elliott Museum, before this one opened in March of 2013, there were a number of storefronts from the early 1900s in America. We have quite a collection of Americana like these. We have on display here several of them. This is the apothecary shop. We also have a barber shop. People used to go to the barber shop for a number of different purposes, but mostly to get a haircut and a shave. Other popular attractions include the kid favorite hand-carved wooden circus, scale models of various boats and battleships, and a room of Americana featuring authentic Florida voting booths used in the controversial 2000 presidential election. Remember those hanging chads? The museum also boasts one of the largest collections of material related to one of Martin County's most famous and beloved residents, actress and philanthropist Frances Langford, who operated a restaurant called the Outrigger Cafe in Jensen Beach. And you can come here and see a lot of the things that were personal accoutrements that, that she enjoyed. Some of her paintings, some of her movie posters, lots of photographs of her life as well as some of the things that were in the original Outrigger Cafe. Add to that a 3,000 square foot changing art gallery and a really cool pendulum near the entrance and you have an unforgettable experience at the Elliott Museum. For Martin County Television, I'm Bob Hoganson.